terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. You know what Joe Biden's administration did? I mean, we, you see that movie, Sound of Freedom. It was such a great movie. It was a beautiful movie. The kids loved it. I loved it. I thought it, it ended up being appropriate for the kids. They could handle it. It was very tastefully done. You see that movie, it rips your guts out about those kids being sex trafficked. And I read you the article last week from 2014 in The Guardian about how bad it is in Mexico and various South American villages. They have to build, they have to hide their daughters. They, they build special hiding places for them. They dig holes in the earth for the little girls to go into to hide uh, when the cartels come through because they'll just pick up these little girls and take them up to America to sell them. This is why 85,000 children are missing here. So you would think any normal, rational human being, and the Democrats are not that, you would think normal, rational human beings, upon learning from the New York Times that 85,000 children have been have gone missing on Joe's Watch, which is a horror show. A lot of them are being sex trafficked and sold in this country, I guarantee you. It's just the scale of it that's shocking. And you learn from the New York Times, most of those kids are either actual slaves uh, working in factories at night and other places uh, for the cartels for no or little pay, uh, or they're sex slaves. That is a horror show. So understand, when you see Sound of Freedom, that is absolutely going on. Joe Biden knows, or at least the Biden regime knows. The New York Times wrote about it. So what did they do? What did they do? This is the key takeaway. If you watch Sound of Freedom, you will be in horror. What did they do? Well, we had hearings on it in April where a volunteer said, yes, these Cartel members, same guys, they keep coming by the Health and Human Services facility and they just pick up these illegal immigrant kids, walk off to it with them. They're only supposed to be given to parents or family members, but that's not what our government's doing. They're reuniting them with their sex traffickers. They're reuniting them with their slavers. So the Democrat Party is still the party of slavery. It's amazing. Now, if you're the Democrat Party, what do you do? If you're a good and decent human being, you say, you know, we're going to crack down on this. We read it in the New York Times. We're horrified that we are slavers again, as we were when we were in the Deep South. But you know what they did? Two weeks ago, they ended their contract with the DNA testing company that Trump had signed the contract with. They ended it. So what does this mean? It makes sure they have no way. They, they were doing, that company was doing a 90-minute DNA test to see, okay, this guy here that's trafficking a bunch of attractive young nine-year-olds into the country, he looks a little young to be their dad. Let's see if he's their pimp, right? And what would that have done? Well, you wait 90 minutes. Now you got a record. Oh, how many? He had some eight-year-old, nine-year-old girls back of a truck. None of them related to him. That's weird. If we caught a guy like that, an American guy, where everybody involves American, would, would we send those little girls out the door with the white kidnapped truck guy who's not their dad? Hell no. Oh, he'd be held for questioning. He wouldn't get out again, but he's American. So what the Biden administration is doing is, oh, did you have that kidnap ban with the little girls in the back? Yeah, and none of them DNA tested as being related to you. You just, you just go ahead. Yes, here, you have them all. Go ahead, take them. They ended the DNA testing two weeks ago. Let the horror of that sink in. So let's complete the loop. Using the Guardian article, we have these little girls. They literally come through the villages of Central South America, and they take them by force throw them into vans, and up here they go to be sold to God knows who. And the Biden administration learns this, and their reaction is, oh, we have to facilitate the kidnapping. Oh, we have to erase all the evidence. Because you know what? Every time a company does a DNA test of an adult and a child who show up at the border to make sure that kid isn't being sex trafficked, that creates a what? A record. How do you end sex trafficking? You erase the record. Then it never happened. It's like a tree falling in a forest. So if you saw Sound of Freedom, understand it's way worse now than it was. Do you remember when the Democrats went wild? Kids in cages, kids in cages. Ooh, evil. Where did that start? Trump. No, they lied. It didn't start with Trump. Start with Obama. Why were the kids put in cages? Because they had to be put there until their DNA test processed. They were separated from the adults who could have been sex abusing them, might have been their pimps or could be their parents. We don't know. So remember what happened during the Trump administration. The Democrats sued to end the DNA test. They, folks, let me just bottom line it for you. They are okay with the sex trafficking. In fact, they want it. They want to help the sex traffickers and they want to make sure there's no record. So in the face of, of, of Sound of Freedom, 
which documents the sex trafficking is absolutely is a great it's, it is a great movie aside from its own message. Understand the Biden administration learns about the 85,000 kids trafficked as slaves or sex slaves and goes, we got to erase the evidence. All right. And pulls the plug on the DNA testing contract. The horror of it. And where do I go to find out about that? Uh, it's a group called FAIR uh, that has documented it because you know why the media is blacking it out. And I want you to know that the Democrats love them some sex, sex traffic, sex slaves, especially the underage ones. They do. And they just made it that much easier for the cartels because there's no evidence now. You know why they did it? I'll tell you. Number one, they love some sex trafficking. They love pedophilia. They're all about the pedophilia. But the big reason is because this time the New York Times can't do an article because there's no evidence. Well, we don't DNA test anymore. I mean, who knows who really came in here? How many nine-year-olds they sex trafficked? It's awesome. Where do these kids end up? God, I'd love to know. 85. How do you hide 85,000 kids? I don't know, but the Democrats have found a way. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. WORD, the voice of the Carolinas.